It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And we'll see Devin White, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Buccaneers and the Falcons, and it comes your way next. Well, the Florida humidity is certain to be a factor in this one. There's no other way to say it, really. It is hot. It is humid here at Raymond James. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Atlanta Falcons and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charter Ball Club. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile. To your advantage, now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Pull down for the long season ahead, and we're off in week two. Takes it at the seventh. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Leading him out from Texas A&M at quarterback, Kellen Mond. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Now from the 30. Starting the drive with Algier. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards and a pick up there now first. Not sure exactly how that would freeze the locker room, but that's a yardage grab right there to be able to get that amount of yardage on the first play. On first and 10 is counter. And that one blown up quickly. As he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Let's face it, they won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. Kuhn knocks this one through the post, and the Falcons are out to it. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. They're mobile QB. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader, teams went 43 and off the charts while he was in school and also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's upended after a gain and after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run. Ritter has it knocked down. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call. Did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? I can let his quarterback get hit. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. The Ritter back to throw. And that will be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game to them. And I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. 
reps. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. The numbers there for Connor in last week's game. 21 carries, 109 yards. In game, so they can get to play action and throw the ball deep later on. From the 44, Mond. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. This defense for ball. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. He needed two, he got one, and that's... So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're gonna try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had a lot of pounds. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, a weapon to first and 10. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that addition. The snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. Flushed out right. Throw right. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. He'll get it inside the 20. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and scoop. six points out of it. I know that in a great play for that defensive unit. Bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll be upended at the 33 yards to gain the first here. Ritter here on third and two. Escaping the pressure right. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get away. We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. On first down, Ritter. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. And the Falcons will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. Right, right, right. They start with a give to Connor. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Here's a Florida native from up here, Pensacola. It's Michael Carter. And he'll get this up to about the 38, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mond out of the shotgun. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Yeah. 
They'll run for it with Connor. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth on their own side of the field. Close to the 50, but their own side of the field. They only needed a couple of inches, and they were able to get it done. And it doesn't matter whether you're a zone. They work with the lead as they've got it first and 10. Shotgun snap and a give to Carter. And he'll get it down here to the 43. The Falcons had 0-1 of the year following the loss home. And now here on the road week two. So it's certainly not a must win. But boy, you hate to start a season with two straight losses. Yeah, because you sort of feel like you're playing from behind right from the beginning. And that can really mess with your confidence. Plus, if you get to 0-2. Hey, you. Ready? On the counter, it's Connor. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Line of running game imposing its will. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. On second, here's Algier. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't so here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, caught by London. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So after the disappointment, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X one playmakers. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Ritter. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well. Developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Ritter throwing on third down. This to the former Falcon, Russell Gage. And they work this well upfield, this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 24 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. First down, here's Ritter. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. In for the sack, Deion Jones. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer Muth. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. Here's Mon. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the ball. Throwing again on second down. Ritter. A short one there to Fryerview. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. Good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Ritter. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this four. Ritter to throw it. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. We're out on the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're me. It's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A six. Looking to throw again on second down. Mon. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And this is going to... Ready. On first down, here's Mon. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. From the gun, here's Mon. He'll get that one to Carter complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the... So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will do it. In the third and fourth quarters. Meanwhile, for the Bucks, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Final preparations being made for the second half, both in terms of for the Falcons. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. Meanwhile, for the Bucks, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Final preparations being made for the second half, both in terms of game plan and also hydration because humidity is really going to catch up to these guys, no doubt. And for the call of the second half... Defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come back, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. And oh, he coughed it up. And the Falcons say they have it, they do. So it's kind of more of the same offensively. This was a team needing to come out of this third quarter with a little fire. Instead, they put the ball on the ground. And you know... Mon looks to throw. Into the hands of London. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And a reinforced. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamal Dean. And the Buccaneers are going to have it here. Jimmy's are going to have it here just past the 25. So a potential momentum shifter there. Working with a two-score lead third quarter. But that, not the smartest of throws. We're agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point. But now, if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after. To start out, here's second and 11. One, check pick, check right. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in it. A... And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to take possession of the football. But one 
right side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. Some plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They'll start by running the option to the line, and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Get a nine-yard line. Here comes second down and six. They'll try the left side with Connor. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. A gain of three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on... They'll run here with Connor. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Again, it'll be Connor. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. To try to get the second one. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run. They'll send the tight end in motion. They're going to run. Here's Connor. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Falcons' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So that, Charles, a big decision there on fourth and goal. Second and ten now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And it's Ritter. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Falcons are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. They'll still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. 52 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. On first and ten, it's Algier. And this will be a Falcons first down as he gets this up past the 30. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. On the move on first down. They run behind center with Connor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a drag yard In the parking lot, their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. 
Algier going straight ahead. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. While that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend. Okay, ready? Bond going to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the front. In here, they're just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed. And they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. On third down, here's Carter. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, but coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, oh, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage... ...days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. Here's a handoff to Connor. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down, in second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Algier now, up the middle. And a nice run, they're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 25. 65 yards rushing for him now to this point. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put out. And the offensive line, they've go. controlled this go. game. I don't see why that trend would change now. They'll try to run for it with Connor. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This point of the game, that means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball up there, it'll be second and eight. Give to Algier from the shotgun. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Tyler Algier, his second touchdown on the season. And the Falcons go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So, Charles, the bad taste from that opening with Bay trots out there now. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I'm behind us and get better for the next time out. This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Arnold Evacati picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, have a game, sir, why don't you? A sack earlier and an exclamation point here late in the game, and this one won by his side of the ball. They played so well, surprise. And this offense on third down today, three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and forever. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their turn to take it downfield. Taken right around the 44. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. Found good room to run there, returns it 14 yards. On the give, it's Algier. 
Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their home with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 97 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. That's a kid to be satisfied with the top of this game. They're satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. Let's go. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Handing it off right side, Algier. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more on that one and another first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first and 10 is counter. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. This one, but this time they get him behind the line. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. He'll look to throw. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Things are rocking easy here in the fourth quarter. They've got to feel pretty good about this one. Actually, they've got to feel excellent. Tough loss in the opener. No first down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, they kind of